and we're back. Nocturnal Duck here with a brand new deck just for you and your sweet, sweet head. This one is a doozy. Trigger the dead. Let's check it out. Alright, so what is Trigger the Dead? Well, it is built entirely around this card here, uh, Tessa. I'm just going to call her, that's her nickname now because I struggle to pronounce half the magic cards. Anyway, so <laughs> moving along, this is the glue of the whole deck. She has a, an amazing passive, basically <clears throat> creatures dying cause uh, if a creature dying causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control then trigger that ability at an additional time it also gives tokens vigilance and lifelink so basically we're going to try and maximize from her passive with cards that have you know triggers when they die so the midnight reaper is an obvious one the judith is going to help quite a lot our cruel celebrant and dreadhorde butcher all of these things triggering twice is just phenomenal the dreadhorde butcher if it's got three counters on it it's going to die and do six damage that's crazy so the more counters the better um but if you have say cruel celebrant judith and a Midnight Reaper out, and then you start looping a cold and familiar with a Witch's Oven, that old trick that we all know, we start doing crazy drain and gain, and that's the whole idea of the deck. We've got this little engine at the front here with the cold and familiar Witch Oven churning, and it's going to trigger all of these three cards here over and over again, and hopefully twice each time. So that's the plan with the front half of the deck. The second half, the back half of the deck, has a much larger engine. Our Liliana and our Chandra, which go crazily good together. You make the two tokens, and then you sacrifice the two tokens, and you draw two cards. And if you have one of these out, you draw four cards. And if you have one of these out, you also do four damage and life gain. So it just completely refills your hand, does a huge chunk of damage, and gains you a bunch of life. And all you were doing, all you're doing, is sacrificing these two free 1-1 one, one tokens, essentially free 1-1 one, one tokens. You know, so we can do that with the Liliana, we can do that with the Witch's Oven, but it, it doesn't trigger Judith or Midnight Reaper because they don't trigger with tokens dying, but that's okay because the Cold and Familiar looping is our main sort of engine to get that sort of churning. And same with the Dreadhorde, that's another target for our Witch's Oven, which is not a token, so that will trigger these guys. But interestingly enough, she will trigger a permanent, so Liliana being a permanent, so you don't even have to attack. Let's say we wipe the board and we've got both of these out, and we drop a Tessa. And then we just make the two tokens, sacrifice both of them, don't even have to sacrifice them. You know, you can make a, a zombie token and just let them die, don't even attack. And you will gain so much card draw, so much, you know, loop going on there it's crazy so it, you know the end of the deck is easy to sort of get to as well because leading up to it they're too busy trying to all, all of these cards all of these cards are prime prime targets they can't wait to get rid of this this or this you know they sometimes let this slide more often than not but once they see how it really works they want to get rid of all of this early game which leaves a lot of the late game empty for us to be able to sort of pull off all these late game shenanigans. Now, Kaya's Wrath is good because it just wipes everything and then we get to reset. And our reset is always a lot better than theirs because we can refill our hand. In one of the matches, I think I have to discard, I'll go from no cards to like discarding four just from sacrificing creatures with the Witch's Oven, sacrificing creatures with, um, you know, Liliana and Chandra, and it just kept drawing and drawing and drawing, and it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. So, you know, this um, style of play, this sort of drain and gain, is really comfortable because you're not necessarily worried about combat so much. You've always got blockers. You've always got something to play, like a creature or what you, whatever, what have you. And, you know, it is quite phenomenal how it really works and comes together. Um, one thing that I do want to note is that I have been playing a lot of my videos with the lands have been the jankiest of them all. And I know now that I don't need these because we have quite 
substantial card draw after you know crazy testing and i am running 23 lands so the 23 lands for me is sort of like um you know basically once we do get to turn four we should be in control uh, and resetting the, the game so we can just chill to get to turn six we're not too worried if they are playing a really aggressive deck you know sometimes that can be a challenge and if they're playing a very controlling deck that can sort of you know really jip up our whole timing of these shenanigans and you know sometimes we are holding a card to sort of put down at the right time to sort of trigger a volume of things and if that gets countered it sort of puts us on the back foot so you know there is a couple of you know turns that you have to learn with it but generally it is very comfortable to pilot and fun you know like it wouldn't be fun to verse but it's terribly enjoyable to pilot. So I highly recommend if you have these cards to give it a build, give it a test and see what you think and hit me up in the comments because, you know, I'm always open to seeing other things. There's a lot that I can't see, I know. But I have worked on this for a little while, but, you know, it's, it is where it is. So I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and look forward to some more content coming up. I'm still setting up everything. Once the studio is fully set up, I'm going to be doing live Road to Mythic. You know, I'm going to start 2020 Road to Mythic for sure. This is my year. Um, a big thanks to everyone and the support I get from the channel. I really can't wait to sort of be putting out more content and more often for you. Like a couple a week, I'm trying to push it to sort of three or four videos a week. So stay tuned and yeah, enough gin flapping for me. Let's get into some games. Okay, we'll keep this. Go in with this tapped, and then we'll double oven next turn, depending on what we draw. Okay, so this could be a Calamity deck. It has the workings of a Calamity deck. The good news is we're going to get a bunch of life gain, so he's not going to like that. Definitely has the workings of a calamity. Cool. Sure thing. So we're getting a life back. Get a life. Get a life, mate. We'll make a couple of doodles. A couple of doodles. They can get in. Oh, go on, mate. Yeah, two damage. And we'll get one food token. And two food tokens. That's a nice little extra value from Chandra. Cooked us a couple of meals. A couple of flame grilled meals. Grilled. <laughs> Don't ask. So next turn we're good. Next turn we're real good. He's definitely going for Chandra. He's like, oh, you're not getting two food to be turned. But do you want to? Ooh, okay. And they're going to kill Chandra. I see. We did it wrong. Whoops. Yeah, you did it wrong, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah. And now we get to get our double foods. Oh, isn't that nice?
second in turn. So he's obviously going to go the spitter at Chandra, or just the Spitfire in the air. But you're at 14, man. And I got four food tokens. You missed. You misplayed, but she can still recover from with Calamity. Easy. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to do one of these now. I'll just save us all the heartache. I'm going to leave Chandra alive. I didn't think so. Yes, now you did it right. Except Mr. Point of Damage on me. So there's another misplay, but I'm not a judge. I think he's feeling the pressure. That's what's going on. Okay, so I'm just gonna go. I misplayed. I thought I had two whites and I do not. There's karma for you people right there. So, misplay after misplay. Now you're talking. Nice. Now he's punishing me for being cocky. <laughs> Good game. Except you're gonna lose your um, token producer. Yeah. Pass the blockers. So they'll do a bunch of damage. Could have got another thing there too. Okay, so this is nice because we can just board what? Cool. So now I'll just climb back up and then we can continue on our drain plan. I don't think he's going to have much draw. This feeling is brought up significantly. And then turn. Resolve. I'm just going back all that life. Bring him down to eight. And then we shall... We won't gain that life actually. So you're going to block? No. And turn. It's a game. I don't think you can see it just yet. 
So. Cool. Two damage. And then we shall pass the blockers. Destroy there. Another little ping. Bring him back. And then we get another one. And then that's the game and then we pass to my turn. You fit now? Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, that was a slow rolling win, but we got there. This is a good start. Scry next in with our cat. Sure. Hmm. Don't need him just yet. We've got one. Her because then when we put Chandra down we can um, swing in with the two tokens that will be buffed we'll go no blocks there um So we could go... Hmm. No attacks. We really need the oven. Start this train. Okay, so... Life gain. Okay. And now we can go Chandra. Extra two pins here. Beautiful turn. necessarily want to let her go so we will sacrifice her
does give him two extra counters, two creatures. But that is fine, because we are about to go a lot of trouble here. I <laughs> love this train. And there's our hand back. Okay. And we'll throw the... Throw one of the cats under, I guess. to life for that and bring him down as well and what do we got left one he's gonna block one of these I reckon we can leave that back for a block as well Still gonna trigger twice. Well, there's our witch's oven. My god, look at this. I'm gonna get rid of four. Get rid of that one. I guess. I guess that one. That one. Sucks, but it is what it is. I feel like I'm gonna mill myself here. Yeah, that's fine. I did get rid of the other one, but that's probably helpful to us because we're already gaining so much card draw. 29. Far out. I've seen so much more cards than him. So many more cards than him. That is unbelievable. <laughs> 
I didn't even put down the celebrants yet. No, I could have done it then, but you know, the game was in the bag. What a match that was. What a beautiful deck. It just gives you your whole, here's a whole new hand. And then here's a whole new hand. And the whole time, you're just draining them and gaining life. This is so comfortable to play. Very comfortable to play. Okay, so this is a pretty good start. We've got... Next turn, the oven and the cat, or the butcher, depending on what he puts down. Okay, so... Now we got a blocker. Oh. Sure. Might as well start the train. This is a good start, really. One, two, three. Cool. Okay, so now if he attacks in. He does. Okay. And we'll block there. Another card draw. Beautiful. Beautiful. Pay two life. We'll bring him down. And then him down. He's inclined to do that for sure. Even though I'm going to be getting another damage in, and then he's going to damage himself. Wow. So I had to go that route, even though there was a better line where I s sacrificed and brought the cat back. But I think that's going to be this turn with our cruel celebrant. And to combat. Is he going to take this? I'm just doing this now. Get some card draw action. turn. Cool. That's weird. That's really weird. Okay, so we're gonna go again.
Okay. Couple of life. He sees the writing on the wall here. Wait. He's going down to four. Yeah. It's definitely over. Like, okay, so you're going to do it on to him, I see. Might as well get a couple of... Couple of triggers there. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was going to see how long it took before he scooped. Yay, he ranked up. Well, that was a pretty decent showcase. I um, think I might leave it there. It's pretty stinking hot here. You might tell I've been frustrated. But that was a good couple of rounds. I enjoy this deck very much so. It's, um, I don't know, the style of it is very... You know, not not even needing to attack. You're just draining them the whole, whole game. So, yeah, I really do enjoy how this works. There's a few tweaks I'd probably do, but, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow, and look forward to some more content coming up, hopefully when it's not so hot and I can be more smiling. <laughs> Until next time, Nocturnal Dark out.